and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Mark Hoffman and today I'm here to take you around a 2011 Captiva 7 Series 2. On a happy note, we've just got our coffee machine fixed. Come on down, enjoy a coffee with us and it's a great experience here at Berwick Mitsubishi. We'll go around the video as you've seen from the car online. It's exceptional value this vehicle. This video is going to be mostly about condition. Now about 10 seconds ago, a bird decided to do that to the front of the car. We apologise for that. Don't zoom in on it, Lynn. That's just bad. No sign of scratches, nicks, dents, stone chips or anything across the front bumper bar or bonnet. Very, very, um, we're talking like the size of a pinhead, little nicks on the front of the bonnet. Very, very tiny. I'm being brutal at that point. Big clear chrome headlights. Does have the projector headlights, which are better at night time. And fog lights down the bottom as well. The Series 2 gets you the nice flat grille and fixes a lot of the problems the Series 1 had, which is nice. A nice, reliable car. Front wheel, brilliant condition. No signs of mark scratches, nicks or anything like that. A nice deep tread Kumo tyre on, the, on there as well. Coming down the side of the vehicle, I'm actually struggling to find any scratches, nicks or anything like that on it as well. Um, nice Series 2 badge there. We do have indicators in the mirrors. Windows are tinted both front and back. Nice chrome trims around the windows as well. Sideboards there making getting in and out of the vehicle nice and easy. Coming to the back wheel now. Brewing condition wheel here. No signs of marks or scratches at all and a good condition Dunlop tyre there as well. Coming around to the back of the vehicle now, a few badges to talk about here actually. We've got the SIDI 3 litre direct injection engine, Captiva CX of course, the twin exhaust tips down there. We do have reverse sensors on this vehicle as well, making parking a nice easy process. We, um, with the door handle here, little centre one there opens up the door opens cleanly. We've got it set up in a bit of a three-seater com combination at the moment, but really, really easy to live with a Captiva. I had a couple of territories and the rear seats on it are so difficult to live with. This one, go to Ikea, pick up your Billy bookcase, slide it in there, heaps of room for everyone. Or fold the seat up there, five seats, nice and easy to live with. Three child seat anchor points across the back of the third row seating. But how easy is this? Grab that handle, we're a six-seater. Get my camera to zoom in there. Have a look. We've got the seat folded down, but it doesn't change the leg room at all. Heaps of room for actual children with feet. A lot of the seven-seaters are designed for people that don't have feet. One thing to note, beautiful partial leather trim on this car as well with nice silver stitching, actually. Fold that back down. It's a five or oh, three chair again. Back here, we've got a little nook for all of... Open it up, Mark. Got a nook for all of your many things, tools, umbrellas, medical kit, that sort of stuff as well. Cargo tie downs everywhere, of course. Brilliant condition, hardly a scratch on the plastic there, no stains or anything in the carpet as well. Easy to drop tailgate as well, nice and light. Coming around to the passenger side of the vehicle, this is commonly where you see damage if there was to be any. None of that here presents brilliantly. Rear wheel, unmarked, no scratches or nicks on it, a good condition rear tire on the car as well. Coming down the side of the vehicle, struggling to even find like a little hairline scratch on it, presents so good. Side running board, brilliant condition. Coming up to the last of the wheels now, and unmarked yet again, no scratches, nicks, gutter rash or anything, and a brilliant condition front tyre on this car as well. So around the exterior of this vehicle, pretty much faultless. My cameraman just pointed something out. I managed to turn this car from a three-seater to a four-seater and back again, all while holding a coffee. How easy is this car to live with? We're now around to the front, and a huge upgrade in this Series 2 gives you the three-litre V6 direct inject variable valve timing motor. Now that is gonna give you 190 kilowatts of power it wasn't long ago you needed a big V8 to get that sort of power. 288 newton meters of torque through a six-speed automatic transmission. Out of a big SUV, you are getting 11.3 liters to the average cycle, which is going to give you in excess of 570 kilometers of average driving range. All right, inside the Captiva now, and such a nice place to be. A really big update in the Series 2 to the interior. We'll start off with the steering wheel. Has un I have unlocked. It does have height adjusted. It's a nice to the top, nice and easy to live with. Leather wrap steering wheel, brilliant condition, no signs of wear or anything like that. Black stitching, of course. On the right hand side, a feature I love, you can actually control part of the air conditioning system. You can control where it is and how much fan is, uh, how much fan force there is off the steering wheel. Then you've got your cruise control, of course, and the up and down buttons are just behind the steering wheel here. On the left side, we've got our media control, Bluetooth phone, of course, on off and seek and volume controls behind the back there. On the left side, we've got our front and rear wiper controls, of course. And on the right hand side, we've got our headlights and indicators as well as front fog light for fog and rear fog light if you're in the uh, snow. Um, of course, automatic headlights on this car, but being silver, if it is raining, do remember to turn your headlights on because the auto only works at nighttime. 
In the center there, you will see we've got a brilliant, I'll turn off the fog lights, Mark, there we go. It brightens up the dashboard for us. Brilliant, easy to read dash cluster there. Nice white writing, 110 kilometers dead in the center. Cash currently showing 52,000 kilometers only. And the little eco light down there, we'll talk about that in a little while. Turn my steering wheel here, does have two factory fitted flip keys on it as well, which is nice to see. We've got our mirror controls here, as well as our dash brightness control there. On the driver's door here, I'll just slide back so you can see it a bit easier. Here we've got our tailgate opening button here for the glass section. We've got the window button there to turn it off so my cameraman doesn't play with the windows. Four power windows as well as a door lock button at the front there. Nice cloth trim in here, unmarked, brilliant condition trim as well. All right, back into the center now. In the center, we've got our little trip computer here, which gives us a lot of information. On the left-hand side there, you'll notice we have a uh, climate control currently set to low. I want to change that because it is freezing here today in Berwick uh, and it's currently saying 13 degrees so it's actually warming up. It was like 6 this morning. Uh, and where it is we've got 226 kilometers of range and we're currently pointing south. Down from there we've got the men in black styled uh, clock in the center here. Uh, traction control button, a button to test all four indicators at the same time. Uh, downhill descent control of course. We've got our audio system here currently turned off because well it's hard to hear me when it's on. With our little audio unit here which has the obviously AM, FM and then Bluetooth phone of course. Pop this out of the way. Climate control, nice and easy to use as you saw before. You can adjust the temperature. Fan speed, which is also adjustable on the steering wheel and sort of where you want it as well. Um, coming down, we've got our shifter here, of course, which uh, shows all your modes. Pop it down into D for drive. If you're feeling sporty, you've got your manual mode as well. Probably just leave it in D. Under here, we've got a little 12 volt socket. Under here we've got that eco button I was talking about. Eco button plays with the engine mapping of the computer in the car, as well as the electronic throttle, numbing it down a little bit, taking the pulsing a lot of people have in their, in their throttle foot, which smooths out the throttle, making a lot more economical car. Gone are the days of the big old handbrake handle. Electric handbrake, same as you'd expect. That's off and then obviously pull it back on to turn it on. Pretty simple. Two decent sized cup holders as well as a nook for many things. Push this button, slide that back. Massive cavity of uh, for all of your many things and it goes back that way quite a long way actually. One of my previous videos, I managed to get my whole arm in there. Won't do that today. Leather wrap shifter, leather wrapped um, center console here. Pop that up, reveals a nice cavity in there for all many more things. Going to get my camera to zoom around the interior now. You'll notice partial leather interior, black leather with the white stitching, but in the center we've got cloth. So all the comfort of cloth with the look of leather. Does have factory floor mats, both front and rear, in brilliant condition. I get my camera to zoom around to the back now, and you'll see rear presents exactly the same. Brilliant condition leather seats back there. The roof lining, perfect condition, not a nick, scratch, or finger mark on it. And often I get asked this question, especially from out of state buyers the smell in the car smells perfect. No sign of cigarette smoke or anything like that in the vehicle. Jumping into the uh, service books was originally owned by a woman named Tanya who did her original service at uh, for the free one which is nice to see. Then we've got the next service done, Boren Holden, then we've got Mark's Automotive, gone there for a little while, 23, then it's done at 32, 40 and then we've done it at 52. So full service history in this car as well. The story is just getting better. Thank you for watching this video walk around tour of our Series 2 Captiva 7 3 litre V6. As you've seen, stunning condition on the outside, brilliant condition on the inside, the same as the exterior, no signs of wear anywhere. Full service history, really practical, easy to live with car. This is definitely the right SUV for your family. Do give us a call, 9907 555. But wait, before you go, don't forget to ask your salesperson about a five-year mechanical protection plan this car does qualify for, which now includes 10 years of roadside assistance. That number again, 9907 555. And thank you for watching.